Hi and welcome to Datapine. In today's video, you will learn how you can use Datapine as your online SQL query builder. There's two ways. The first one I'll show you is the drag and drop option. And the second one is the SQL box. I thought it would be a good idea to start off with a quick orientation. What we're looking at over here on the left hand side of the screen is our data schema. So the tables and fields of our database. Then we have the four drag and drop zones over here. We have the visualization area in the middle. We have the field editor on the right hand side. And then of course we have the toolbar along the top. So I want to work out the following. The amount of revenue, the amount of customers, and I want to work that out over time. Okay. So that query has been written. It's going to my database and it's bringing back the result. The first thing I want to do is I need to change amount to sum to give us our revenue. And then I need to move one of these values onto a secondary axis so that we can have the appropriate scale for both. There we go. So we have the amount now, and then we have the amount of customers over here. Okay. I also want to limit myself to just the year to date. Okay. So I don't want to have a look at my entire operation. I want to have a look just at this year. Okay. And now what I want to do is I want to use some of Datapine's advanced options to choose how I want to visualize the chart. So what I'm going to do is A, I'm going to change customer to a line chart. And B, I want to change the color of amount to a lighter blue. Also want to change amount, which is a little bit vague, to revenue, which is more precise. And I also want to include a euro symbol. Okay. So I'm relatively happy with that KPI. The next step is to save it to a dashboard. And then it's always there when I want to see how many customers we have and how much revenue we're making. The next option is for someone who has the required SQL knowledge, you can use the SQL box. And as long as you have the right SQL query skills, then there really should be no question that you can't ask of your data. We have a full video on the SQL box, which you can check out on our website. I want to thank you for watching the video today and wish you all the best.